It's Umsum time. How were the pyramids built? Hmm? Using alien technology. Oh, hmm? just listen. The huge stones used to build the pyramids were carved hundreds of miles away from the actual site. Egyptians were yet unaware about wheels. So, how did they transport these huge blocks? By using sledges. How do we know this? An ancient wall painting shows 172 men hauling a massive statue on a sledge. Now, pulling sledges on sand would be difficult because the sand would clump in front of the sledge, increasing friction and requiring more force to pull it. However, the intelligent Egyptians had a solution. In the painting, we can see someone pouring water on sand. Ah. Adding right amount of water to sand reduces friction, requiring only half the people to pull it. Also, cranes hadn't been invented yet. Thus, Egyptians ah. built huge ramps to stack the stones on top of each other, creating this architectural masterpiece. Mm. Has the Bermuda Triangle mystery been solved? Hmm? The Bermuda Triangle is roughly a triangular region of the Atlantic Ocean between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. Here, many ships, boats, planes, etc. have reportedly disappeared under mysterious circumstances. According to a recent study, experts theorize that a natural phenomenon known as rogue waves are the main reason for some of these mysterious disappearances. Rough stormy seas of this region can create rogue waves which are about 100 feet high. These high waves can easily damage ships and boats. Another theory states that hexagonal clouds found in this area can act like air bombs, blasting winds at huge speeds. These winds can destroy planes and create waves which can destroy ships. Some people believe that a strange magnetic anomaly affects the compass readings thus misguiding ships and planes. Others even attribute the events to UFOs or aliens. What is constipation? Hmm? After much of the digestion and absorption of nutrients, the unwanted food or stool which is in a liquid state flows to the large intestine or colon. Here, by means of a series of muscular contractions and relaxations, the stool is pushed or moved through the colon. As the stool moves, water is absorbed from the stool, making it more solid. Finally, the stool enters the rectum. When the rectum is full and stretched, the nerves of the rectum send signals to the brain. At this point, we decide whether to expel the stool or retain it. Going to the toilet ah. and expelling the waste is a part of our daily routine. However, sometimes due to slow muscle contractions, the stool passes slower than usual through the colon. As a result, excess water is absorbed, making the stool very hard. Such a condition in which an individual has hard stool that is difficult to expel is called constipation. Why is it hard to cure Alzheimer's disease? Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's disease is an irreversible progressive brain disorder. It basically occurs when proteins in the brain malfunction and clump together forming plaques and tangles. These plaques and tangles block communication in between brain cells and even cause cell death, thus leading to memory loss, mood changes, hallucinations, etc. Now, it is hard to cure Alzheimer's because symptoms of the disease begin to show when it has almost irreversibly damaged the brain. Also, finding candidates for effective clinical trials mm -hmm. is difficult because there is no method to identify people with the disease at initial mm -hmm. stages. Thus, it is hard to test the medications and check whether they work or not. Hmm. In addition to this, Alzheimer's <laughs> affects different people in different ways. Hence, a drug which is somewhat effective on a patient suffering from Alzheimer's might not work on another patient. In short, <laughs> due to a lack of fundamental understanding of the disease, we are unable to cure Alzheimer's. <laughs>